Now in this lesson we're looking at sketching traverse surveys. Examples. The first one, draw a neat sketch for this notebook entry. So that's what we uh, refer to as a notebook entry. And what we're eventually going to draw is a sketch like this. All right. So that's eventually what we're going to come up with. But of course, we're not sure how do we do that yet. So well, let's get rid of that. Let's start from scratch. The first point we mark is A. And that length there, all right, we're going to draw a straight line there all the way to the point D. Now, again, starting from A, that's our zero mark if you like. Then we move up to the 10 metre mark. All these are in metres, the 10 metre mark. So let's mark up there, and that's 10 metres we've travelled so far. Now at the 10 metre mark, there's a point B which is 22 metres to the left. So we draw a line to the left, 22 metres, that's the point B. Now referring back to our notebook entry, we're at the 10 metre mark. We then move to the 24 metre mark. So we've gone from 10 to 24, that's a distance of 14. Now at this 24 metre mark, there's a point E which is 30 metres to the right. So we draw a line 30 metres, to the right there's our point E. Now going back to our notebook entry, we're at the 24 metre mark. Then we move to the 40 metre mark. So from 24 to 40 is a distance of 16. At the 40 metre mark, to the left, we're going to draw a line 24 metres long, C. All right, I said 24 metres long, it's not 24 metres long, it's, it, it's a line that represents 24 metres, okay? I don't think we'd fit that on the page. In any case, we're at the 40 metre mark now, and then finally we get to the point D, which is the 55 metre mark, and that's, we've gone from 40 to 55, that's 15. And we're at the 55 metre mark, and that's what D is. So we've completed the start of it. Okay, we've done all the hard work, the easy work now. We just draw our boundary in, okay, the perimeter of the shape there. So there we have it. Our second example, we need to complete the field book entry. Okay, so we've already got our sketch. We're working backwards. So that line there, okay, that's our, our critical line there. Starting at the point P, that's our next critical point. And then there's the next one, the next one then. And finally, the point R is our last critical point. So. P is the point at zero, so let's just mark that in on the diagram. Then if we go from zero up another 18, well we're at the 18 metre mark. This is a very useful technique to start with. We're then at the 18 metre mark. If we go up another 10, we'd be at the 28 metre mark. Once we're up 28 metres plus another 24 would take us up to the 52 metre mark. And 52 add the 20, finally 72 metres. So 18, 28, 52 and 72, we'll mark that in on our field book entry. Okay, and the point at the top there is R. Now at the 18 metre mark, what's happening? Well, to the right is a point T, it's 20 metres away. So in our field book entry at the 18 metre mark, we simply write 20 and T. Okay, make sure it's on the right hand side. Moving on, at the 28 metre mark, well, we draw a line. 26 metres to the left, that's the point Q. So on our field book entry, 26 Q on the left hand side. The next point of interest is the 52 metre mark, which has S as a point 18 metres to the right. And finally the point R, okay, corresponds with that. Okay, that's at the 72 metre mark. So there we have it. It's all done now. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.